Hey what's up guys, it's Andrew back again with another video and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your GoPro videos look better. So chances are that if you've bought a GoPro, you had the intent of creating amazing, jaw-dropping, professional action shots just like those on the internet. Now I'm also sure that if you're like me, you brought home the footage and realized that it turned out to look like amateur home video. So it turns out that a majority of the amazing, awesome looking GoPro videos online undergo an enormous amount of post-processing. However, it's not that hard to duplicate yourself. So to start, go ahead and import your clip into your software of choice. So I'm using Premiere Pro, but this will really work with any non-linear editing software that has access to color tools. Now when you watch a GoPro video, besides the breathtaking camera angles, the color is one of the main things that catches your eye. However, when you really begin to break down the eye-popping colors involved in GoPro videos, it really comes down to three basic things. Saturation, contrast, and sharpness. So knowing this, you can simply add more of these three things into your GoPro videos to make them look and pop a lot more. So starting off with possibly the most important effect, the contrast. So in short, contrast will create a lot more depth in your image and also add the slightest illusion of detail. Now, as I mentioned before, this will work in any nonlinear editing software. However, my editor of choice is Premiere Pro. So to start, I opened up Premiere and imported my clip into my timeline. So because I first want to add contrast, I went down to effects, then drag brightness and contrast onto the clip in the timeline. So as the main color effect in a GoPro video is contrast, I set this to around 25 or 30, which actually gave me a pretty good result. So from here, I was already surprised at how much better it looked. Everything was sharp, clear, and crispy, and all the colors popped just like I hoped it would. Now in my personal scenario, I did notice that there was a bit too much blue in the image, so I went back to effects, added RGB curves, and retracted some blue out of the highlights, and in exchange added some red to the highs and lows to bring out the earthy brown tone of the environment. Now while you could just leave it like this, I decided to go a few steps further and add a letterbox as well as some sharpening to make the edges a bit neater. Now with this done, I added a few more clips, edited them the same way, and put it to music, and I got this. Pretty good stuff, and you can totally sell it with some simple color grading just like I showed you. Now if you really don't want to do all the grading yourself, then there's a nifty little tool that can do most of the heavy lifting for you. Lutz. So commonly known as lookup tables, these are essentially a color preset that you can drop onto your video that will do most of the color grading for you. Now the obvious downside to this is that the customization is extremely limited, so what you see is what you get. However, I will show you how to use a loot anyway so that you can get the exact same result as we just achieved a moment ago with a fraction of the hassle, and the link to where you can download said loot will be the first in the description below. Now once downloaded, just go ahead and move it to an easy spot that will be easy to find later, such as your desktop. Now next, go back to Premiere, go to a effects, search Lumetri Color, and drag it onto the clip. After that, select the clip and go to the effect controls and expand Lumetri Color. Now you'll then see a big list of options, but go ahead and expand the first one, which will be the basic correction section. Now just a few lines down, you'll see the option to input a LUT, so go ahead and click the drop down menu, and finally click browse. From here you'll navigate to wherever you saved your LUT to, for me it's my desktop, and once you do, select it and press open. Upon opening, the LUT will immediately take effect, and in turn, will do most of the color grading for you right in Premiere. So from here, you can tweak the image with some more RGB curves, sharpening, or levels, but once you're done, it's finished. Now I do just want to clarify that, although these steps will improve the overall look of the image, it will not change the footage itself. So GoPro users really go the extra mile when it comes to capturing amazing footage with their cameras, and it's really the final piece of the puzzle that makes the videos look so good. So they can use anything from drones, to gimbals, to arms, and even helicopters to really get those amazing shots that add tons of production value to the video, and the color grading is really the icing on the cake. However, with practice and a little bit of patience, you too can make your videos look pro. Well that's all for this video. If you liked it and you want to see more videos like this, then please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, and until next time, thank you for watching.